All right, we're coming to you live from the Mississippi Gulf Coast Beach with uh, Chef Scott from Shaggy's, and he's cooking, cooking us up some tacos today. So take it away, Scott. Outstanding. How are y'all? Happy Cinco de Mayo. I hope y'all are doing well and staying safe. I got quite a couple dishes I'm going to make for y'all today. Uh, we're going to start out with a simple homemade guacamole. I've got some fresh avocado mashed up, kind of rustic, still chunky. I'm going to add some tomato to that. I like a little fine minced red onion in mine. A little bit of fresh lime juice. After the lime juice, of course, you have to have a good bit of cilantro. Love and cilantro. give it a little salt. Huh? So I love cilantro. Yes. The more the merrier. A little salt, a little pepper, and a little bit of our house taco spice we use at Shaggy's. Just give that a nice mix and then let it sit at least 30 minutes to let those flavors marry and come together. Uh, one helpful hint when you're letting it sit, uh, wrap it with the plastic wrap but don't wrap the bowl, push the plastic into the avocado. The less air that gets to the guacamole, the less chance of getting brown. Just something I would say y'all do, but that's yeah. a nice little rustic Cinco de Mayo guacamole to get us started. Awesome. All right, we're gonna do some grilled shrimp tacos. I'm gonna get the shrimp on the grill and then I'll make a salsa while these are cooking. Awesome. Perfect for Cinco de Mayo. Yes. <laughs> Perfect for any day. That is true. We, we have our Cinco de Mayo pig with us today. All right, while the shrimp's on the grill, let's move on to a fire roasted salsa. Fresh salsa is always so much better. Yes. In here, I've already got some of the roasted uh, tomatoes and some tomato sauce. Again, a healthy help and a cilantro in there. We'll do some chunks of red onion in with it. Jalapenos, and I seed and membrane them just so I can keep the spice level where I want it because you never know what you're gonna get when you leave the seeds yeah. and membrane. No, that's true. Add that in there. Then again, this is a smoky Southwestern spice. I like to use this one with my salsa. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that, a little granulated garlic. A little salt, a little pepper, and then we're gonna let this guy go. We're gonna pulse him. Because again, I like it to be a little chunky, a little smooth, but I want a little taste the flavors. Once we get that puree, gorgeous. I am going to serve a little bit for me. A fresh cilantro on top to garnish and right. that's my fresh salsa all right now i'm going to grill some taco shells and we're going to do our first taco which is barbacoa taco if you don't have a smoker at home the best thing to do is get a nice chuck roast five six pounds cut it in about five or six cubes i marinate that overnight uh and i'll send you the recipe on all this it's a lot of stuff in there but it's you no know, lime juice the acidity to break down that tough meat uh, a little bit of Worcestershire, some spices, salt, and pepper. Let it marinate for 24 hours. After that, salt and pepper, season it. I grill it just to brown the outside. And then my wife introduced me to this whole new thing called an Instapot, or Instant Pot, as she will correct me every time. Yeah. I put it in there for about an hour, which is kind of the equivalent of eight hours on a smoker, six hours. Cooked it a lot quicker. <clears throat> Once it was done, I took the reserved juices and a little enchilada. Charity's here! Yay. And some enchilada sauce, and I tossed that all together and seasoned it up. So let me get these grilled, and I'm going to show you how I put together the barbacoa taco. No, that's awesome. I just made a chuck roast, and it was really tough, so I want that recipe. I will. <laughs> yeah. You're holding out. <laughs> all right, my tortillas are grilling, and I've had these bell peppers. Uh, sweet red, yellow, orange, and jalapenos roasting on the grill to get them nice and soft. I put a little butter, a little salt, pepper, garlic, some taco spice just to give them that southwestern flair, and that's what we're going to garnish the barbacoa taco with. 
Nice. So the grilled tacos right in my holder. And then I have my barbacoa here. See, nice shredded, gorgeous beef. Toss a little cilantro and spices. That's going to go on the bottom of the tortilla. Nice. After the barbacoa is spread out on there, I'm going to get some of these lovely roasted peppers right on top of that meat. Turn it so y'all can see all that flavor and love. It definitely sounds delicious. And then again, a little fresh cilantro just to garnish it. And then we'll take, what are we going to take? Let's take a little of our salsa on top of that. And then we'll finish it with a little of the Mexican cojito cheese. Ah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And that's the barbacoa and roasted peppers taco. Nice. Let me get my shrimp ones off, and I'm going to make you a shrimp taco to go with all of our sauces that we just made. This is our salsa verde that we serve at the restaurant. That's uh, poblano, serrano, tomatillas, all roasted together with a little uh, olive oil to nice and caramelize. Then we puree that with a lot of uh, robust flavors, spices, lime juice, pineapple juice, and make our signature salsa verde. We're going to use that on the shrimp. That sounds delicious. Yeah. How long you been cooking, Scott? Uh, the first picture of me cooking, I can remember I was about six, and my dad had me on the grill doing some ribeyes. Nice. I grew up in a family of cooks. I'm just the only one that ever went professional with it. But it's a passion. I love it. It's not like I even work every day. It's just what I would be doing if I was home anyway. Yeah. You can tell you I love it. Up. Yes. Get my tortillas grilled real quick, nice and soft. Those in the holders. And on this one, we made a cilantro lime coleslaw. We're going to put that slaw on the bottom. Once that's on, we're going to take our shrimps. Nice, big, jumbo, golden, beautiful shrimp. That's going to go on top of that. On this one, we're going to put a little bit of our homemade fresh guacamole. A little bit. I don't have a spoon for that, but we'll put a little more cojito cheese. And now we have a Cinco de Mayo festival with shrimp tacos, barbacoa tacos, homemade guacamole, salsa verde, and fire roasted tomato salsa. Y'all should be here, but I'm jealous of where you are. It looks gorgeous. <laughs> it's a beautiful night. So It looks like it. Yeah. I think Charity's almost set up, and we'll be able to do some drinks. And <laughs> yeah, we have our full uh, staff meeting, actually, right after this, behind me on the deck. We're going to have some tacos together over our reaping strategy, all the guidelines that we're going to adhere to, and our steps to go over and above that to make sure everybody's safe and can come back and enjoy some dinner with us. That's cool. Um, if Yeah, any information y'all have, um, send to me and I'll post it out for you. I certainly will. Absolutely. I can't wait to have y'all. Yeah. Do you guys have anything planned for Mother's Day? Mother's Day, we will be open. Again, it's just going to be at 50% capacity. We will be doing all the boiled seafood on the deck still. Uh, so we'll have a lot of options on how to take care of mom and make it really special for her. Uh, we'll pass that along. We will have a drink special for every mom gets a nice drink on us and uh, some other things going on. We'll just be limited as to how many we can get through the doors. And we're going to try and do our best to make every mom happy on their special day. Is that awesome. going to be at all Shaggy's on the coast, or is that just the one in the past? It's, that's all Shaggy. Now, the boiled seafood is only in the past, but all Shaggy's for Mother's Day will be celebrating moms in the same way. Awesome. Hey, hey, Charity. Hi, sorry. <laughs> oh, no, that's no problem. Interesting that they don't have a blender. Oh, you push. Making tonight. Oh. <laughs> it's Scott's blender. <laughs> We get the train. Oh, there we go. Uh -huh. Okay. Convertible. All right. So, 
we're gonna make um, mermaid margaritas today because mermaids are awesome and my four-year-old's gonna be here in just a little bit and she's dressed like a mermaid Aww. like she does every single day. You need so, to see um, some pictures of that. Absolutely, she's fantastic. Okay. Is this another one that's really, really easy to do and you can double and triple this recipe to make it like a pitcher for parties or anything like that. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take all of the ingredients that we're gonna put in here, you just combine it in a blender and then you blend it smooth, pour it in your cup and it's very, very easy. Nice. Um, so to rim your glass for your margarita, you wanna take a slice of lime and you're just gonna go right around the edge of your glass and just get it all set up. And then I have a um, rimming mixture for this specific margarita and it's a three to one mixture of a sugar and salt. Okay. Okay, so we just put it in. I just use one of our Shaggy's app plates. So any little saucer will do and you just kind of put it in there and spin it. <laughs> All right, so you've got your rims glass and then in your blender, you're gonna mix, it's a, uh, two ounces of fresh lime juice. It's gonna be um, about ha half an ounce of honey, or you can use agave if you prefer agave. And then one ounce each of triple sec, it doesn't really matter whatever your preference on brand is, and an ounce of um, blue carousel. Okay. Is it a blue drink? I'm sorry? Is it a blue drink? It is blue. Okay, I need a blue drink. I need to talk to you about that. Oh, I have one for you. Um, yeah, next week when next we go week. live at Shaggy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's perfect. It's like a sapphire blue. It's really beautiful. All right, and so since it's happy hour, again, we're going to do a double shot of tequila. I like 1800 personally. So that's what I use. <laughs> he agrees. Yeah, that was a little heavy. <laughs> Don't shot there, but <laughs> happy hour. There you go. All right, and then um, you want to put just about a cup of ice. We all know how much ice likes me here. So. <laughs> Don't say it. I know. Don't say it. <laughs> yeah, that sounds really good. Concerning myself today. All right, Let's see how this goes. All right, you would have a ninja. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Yep. There you go. Blend it. <laughs> so, Margarita. I get a little thicker, you can add more ice, you can do less ice, whichever you prefer. So we'll just stick with what we got. Yeah. Who's, who's taste testing tonight? Um, Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> do you have the whole crew there now? No, they're on the way. We've got about five of them down there to have a, our meeting and game plan. Nice. All right. So is, there, is that one ready? Yes, ma'am. It looks ready. Mm -hmm. You just throw a nice fresh uh, slice of lime to garnish, and it is good to go. Awesome. Yay, mermaid margarita. Delish. <laughs> oh, yes, absolutely. So, mermaid margaritas. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. All right. Thank you all so much. Thank you. We'll see you next week live. Yes, we'll do.